what is this duality in illusion do everything in duality is having its opposite in existence so yes in the zero cannot become something there is only one mechanism for the zero to become something and that is it creates an opposite pair now you need not take it very literally it is poetic description it is a metaphor that the zero cannot become one or two or three or four it is not possible so the zero becomes minus 1 plus 1 look at it like this from the mathematical point of view minus 1 plus 1 equals to zero or you can say minus 2 plus 2 anything it needs to be a opposite pair for the end result to be zero the sum must come out to be zero because that is the essence of the existence so how to create then if the zero cannot become anything how to create it can split into opposite pairs so that it remains effectively zero empty still gives an appearance of something so metaphorical description you can understand a little bit but uh, uh, in reality it is impossible to know what is this illusion what is this duality impossible it's beyond human intellect this question is very old it's very often it is asked that how can the emptiness appear to be something and you must have seen this many times that i answer it like this that look it has not become anything simply look there is an appearance of something it has not become anything there is a potential which is appearing and because of the necessity which we also call as laws it appears in a specific way like the question also says that why this way why is there a layered structure why are there irreducibles why is there changing experience why it is changing why time why space why worlds why lives and bodies all this why is they don't have any answer really the only answer that comes is it is necessary once the vibration starts this is the outcome it is very very mechanical it is a computation it starts and this will happen it is necessary nothing else can happen this is the answer which people don't find satisfactory they always need something magical you know he did that and she did that and one day it happened and shiva did that <laughs> and the world appeared and that is childish so there is only one way for the appearance to be there it is necessary that it will be dual cannot be anything cannot be i mean how can the emptiness turn into something even the illusion how can the emptiness is breathing now you know another metaphor here the emptiness is alive the emptiness is breathing and the breath is always outward and inward can anybody guess from which tradition this metaphor is the existence breathes inwards and then outwards and continues which tradition says this look at this it is dual it is balanced the breathing is balanced by this action yogic satya is asking parte se tantric yoga <laughs> no idea actually i also have no idea where, where is this coming from but uh, breathing practices yes wherever pranayama is involved there are many traditions where this yes sri lakshmi is saying kundalini very good very nice yes the kundalini is always ascending and descending we say the energy is dual dualistic in nature this energy is manifested as prana and this energy is physically manifested as breath that is why it is inward and outward there is a deep connection here they are trying to tell you something but obviously we don't understand right now at least i don't understand the significance totally there is a connection existence is breathing it will be always be equal and opposite you will see this law everywhere like they say gender is manifested in every layer of the existence this is the hermetic principles polarity and the pendulum swings the opposites neutralize and the neutral become opposite polar there is positivity negativity in everything gender this is called the principle of gender and then there is one more hermetic uh, saying that the rhythm compensates you see how beautiful this is the breathing although it goes in one direction then it goes in the other direction it always compensates the end is zero 
the result is always zero. Why? Because it started from zero. So rhythm compensates. Even though it is dual, it is not static. It is not static. It is dynamic. And uh, the dynamism appears as change and the dynamism appears as time in the physical manifestation in this world, our world. Change appears as time. And why is there change? Because of this compensating behavior. The emptiness has gone too much in one direction. Now it must return. And because of its momentum, it goes in the other direction. Cannot stop. Then returns back. Rhythm compensates. This same thing is known by various names in Indian philosophies. Various names. The dance of the Shiva, dance of the Shakti. And obviously, we call it the Nad or the Brahmanad, which is given to you as the vibration. Look at the vibration. The sine wave is the simplest vibration. Yes, Anil is saying Nataraj. Yes, it's the dance. Like the Shev tradition does not acknowledge the Shakti so much, so they make the Shiva dance. But the Shak tradition do not acknowledge Shiva that much, so the Shakti, she is dancing. She is dancing in many forms, traditionally nine forms. There can be more. So, what do we call, what do we say on the path of knowledge like the Advait tradition? It is the vibration. Look at the beauty of the sine wave. It is circular vibration. Not any other vibration. Like that day somebody was asking, what is the reason that you chose the sine wave to represent the vibration? I said, don't even think that uh, the vibration is sine wave. Don't even think that. It is all metaphor, you see. It is all scientific notation. It is circular and the sine wave is circular. The dynamism is shown there in the pattern of the sine wave. That is responsible for change. And then after describing all this, you see these things are not there in the program, I think. Not much. Not much. Because I cannot give you everything. It will be overload. It will be intellectual overload for you. So we keep the really punishing things that punish the intellect too much out of the program. And this is one of the uh, concept that why is there change? How is the emptiness appearing as dual forms? There has to be dual. And there has to be dynamism. When I say dynamism, I don't mean movement. Not at all. Movement is manifestation in the physical form. There is no movement actually. It is dynamism. And in Hindi, I am calling it as Anubhav Kriya. In English, I call it as experiencing. So today I am using a different word. But the proper word is experiencing. There is experiencing. That is the dynamic quality of the existence. You all know about the static uh, aspects of it. There are static aspects. And there are dynamic aspects. There is everything here. But the dynamic is not movement. The dynamic is not uh, uh, motion. It is simply possibility. The emptiness has the possibility to, to split like this in vibrating patterns. How? Why? <laughs> that, is, that is the only necessity. There is no other way and nothing else can happen. I tried to imagine, you know, what, can, what else can happen in the emptiness. I could not find anything except this splitting or breathing or dynamism or experiencing. And the rest of the experience is a, just a consequence. It's a mechanical, logical, you see, computational consequence of this breathing pattern, dynamism, shakti. Now, if uh, your mind has gone to sleep, it is good. Because do not think. These things cannot be thought. Just listen. It is totally beyond intellect. What is happening in emptiness? Totally beyond intellect. It is all poetry. So, it answers a lot of questions, you see. Silences the intellect. Because it's so beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> so beautiful. It matches with our direct experience and logic that yes, yes, yes. Cannot be anything else. Yes, there is nothing to think here. The thought happens when there is a possibility of doubt. Is it like this or is it like that? That is the thought. But when everything is necessary, everything must be as it should be, then is there a possibility of thought? Is there a question now? Why it is happening? No. Nobody asks when you say 2 plus 2 is 4. Nobody is asking you why. It is too much obvious there. The clarity is 
too much brightly obvious like a day it cannot be anything nobody questions it we call it the self evident it is self evident if you don't like the answer do some other kind of mathematics <laughs> and if you want to verify the answer look count it will be four you want to disprove it do whatever you want you won't be able to disprove it same way do not ask why that implies that you are not seeing those who see they don't ask why it is okay if you ask why it's not a problem but the description will be always like this look isn't it like this and you say yes yes it is like this there is duality there cannot be anything else it is necessity this 2 plus 2 is 4 that is what is going on here and the emptiness cannot be anything but du- dual a pair opposite pair it cannot be anything except dynamically cannot statically remain as opposite pair when the motion happened from 0 to plus 1 or 0 to minus 1 the dynamism was introduced now we don't understand it that is difficult but uh, that gave rise to the vibration now and you know deal with it <laughs> now it has exploded like anything now we we don't have any option you see there is no going back now you can only realize that nothing has happened nothing real has happened here this is a, this was a possibility and it is still a possibility